the the witnesses also talked about them. The government what? witnesses, the American, and this is important. Okay, yeah. So for they, the Mexican presidents who were accused of being crooked on the take, which yeah. they were, um, this isn't coming from me. This is coming from the United States government's witnesses. Okay. That they put on the stand. That they put them on the stand because they believed that they were telling the truth. So it's the government witnesses that talked about the corruption in Mexico, which is maybe the most corrupt country I've ever even witnessed in my life. And there's a lot of countries in the world. Mexico might be the worst. I've never, I could never have dreamed of how much corruption goes on in that country. I actually feel sorry for the people of Mexico that they are saddled with such absolute fucking garbage uh, for their politicians, um, the judiciary, the police, um, even some of the military. One of the witnesses was talking about the military being involved in drug dealing with the Beltran Levas. I mean, what kind of fucking country is this? That that every that, that how much money do the politicians need? How many hundreds of millions of dollars do they need before they can finally be satisfied? These people are animals. It's amazing uh, that the people don't rise up and and string them up. Because frankly, it's what they deserve. But when you name the ex presidents, are you absolutely sure that they were? Ask the government. The government witnesses said it. I didn't say it. Um, you know, am I sure? I don't know. I, I, you have to ask the government and witnesses. And the witnesses, um, do they have the moral authority and the credibility? I mean... They had the moral authority to, to convict Joaquin Guzman and ensure that he dies in prison. If they can do that, I think they can accuse the Mexican presidents. And it wasn't just one witness. It was multiple witnesses. And it wasn't just Mexico. It was every other country that any of these cooperators uh, travel through. And what Colombia, about? Guatemala, Honduras, they're all crooked. And, and this isn't from 1879. This isn't from 1950. This is from 2016. This is this is stuff that recently happened. It's disgraceful. The and people, what about the, the United States? I mean, there was some corruption in the United States. Not, not look. No, you can't but compare. This, to, I know. To Mexico, I know. You can't compare. It's the dirtiest for, country for on the Joaquin planet. to be doing what he was doing, he needed. I think so. I think that there was that there was certainly there was evidence. There was testimony of the of some people in the DEA being crooked. But I don't consider the American government uh, to be completely infiltrated by um, corrupt officials. It's just not like that. We're not like that here. Um, I'm not saying it's perfect. It certainly is not. Um, but. Compared to Mexico, we're like, you know, Valhalla. I mean, we're the most honest country on the planet. I have to tell you, during the trial, any number of federal agents said to me, you can't go to Mexico for the rest of your life, you know, because it's dangerous because of the things you said. My response, you think I want to go to that shithole? I don't want to go to a place that's run by such corrupt people. The people of Mexico are decent. Every time I've been to Mexico, the people are wonderful. I've only met nice people in Mexico. I love the people of Mexico. I get along with people from Mexico. They don't deserve their leadership. They don't deserve it. They deserve so much better. And it's heartbreaking to, to see this. That this And this corruption has not been going on for 10 years. No, it's, it's been going been on for, for generations, for hundreds of years. And it's not right. It's not right. Do you think Mexico was on trial also? Not only Joaquin? I, I, mean... think, I, I think that Mexico was on trial, but here's the thing. Mexico was convicted, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. The, 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 nothing is going to change. Nothing's going to change. I mean, what did I have to hear that uh, you know one uh, politician after another screaming and yelling that uh, they were being unfairly accused? Well, Jesus, every single cooperator said it. You know, I guess they're all lying. So if they're all lying, so why don't the be? Mexican politicians say that El Chapo is innocent? Because they all told the truth about him, but lied about the officials in, in Mexico? It's either one or both. They're either telling the truth or they're lying about everything. So it's, it's incredibly disappointing um, to think that we have a country so close to us on our border that is so utterly disgusting and corrupt. And the people deserve more. These are good people. I have friends that live in Mexico that love the place. And the reason why people love Mexico, it's not for the beaches, it's not for the weather. The reason that people love Mexico is for the people. That's why people love Mexico, is there is a certain person from Mexico. That's how Mexico is. That's how the people are. And for them to be, to be saddled with this, this slop, which is what it is, it's very, it's very sad to me. So when I was told, you can't go back to Mexico, 